Thanks, Martin. Uh, here's another one of our tech tech videos that we've been uh, doing over the last few weeks. All about trying to improve people's knowledge a little bit. Not a how-to, but this is how stuff works. So we'll be doing a lot more. Like galvanic isolators and batteries and connecting up and solar and tons and tons of stuff. Engine work, boat maintenance, all that kind of thing. But we're sort of starting at, our, at the very grassroots of some electrical theory. We've already gone through Ohm's Law, so check that one out. Uh, we've looked at series circuits last week. Now we're going to have a look at parallel circuits, probably one of the most common ways of connecting devices up on a boat, electrical devices up on a boat. So let's look at parallel circuits and how Ohm's law uh, applies to those and figuring out how those circuits work, operate uh, and such. So let's get cracking, shall we? Right, let's get into parallel circuits. Uh, this <laughs> this might look a little bit disjointed because I just filmed this bit, carried on filming the rest of it, and for some reason lost this bit. So I'm having to go back a little bit. So bear with me on this. Parallel circuits. Okay, so we we remember the pa uh, series circuits. I'm not going to draw the whole circuit. It was a bit like a train. Parallel circuits are exactly as they sound. Uh, three. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do three. Three loads. Three resistors, like we have been doing, and they are wired in parallel to a supply. In this case, a, a multi-cell battery. Okay. So R1. We're going to use the same sort of terms we've been using before. R2 and R3. I'm using resistors, but they could be lamps or anything any appliance um we have the we have voltage and we have a current now the current in this in this place here is going to be it total current where d differing from a series circuit where the current flows all the way through and is common in a parallel circuit it's not here is the total and then here will be i1 so the current the current in in that arm there'll be current flowing in this arm and a current flowing in the r3 arm which will equal the total so uh, total current total is just i1 plus i2 plus i3 it's as simple as that so the voltage is common like we've said so the, the same voltage is on R1, same voltage is on R2, and same voltage pressure is on each one of those. But the current is different if these are different values. So we can solve all of these using that VIR triangle that we've seen already. Yeah. So we can put some numbers in. So if we say R1, R2, and R3 give these a value and we make the values nice and easy so we just work it in our heads uh, r1 2 ohms r3 r2 uh, 5 ohms and r3 10 ohms and we'll make our voltage again some nice and easy 10 volts <coughs> that if you put easy numbers in it sort of gets your head oh okay, i can't see that uh, and when you start to put the more real world numbers in it makes a bit more sense to you so let's go on and solve this circuit um, and then make our lives a lot easier, I think. We'd be able to understand what's going on in a parallel circuit. So we're gonna work out the current for I1 and then we can just add all the currents up and that will give us IT. So I1 equals V over R. So that is 10 over two. Pretty sure that would be 5 amps. I2 is also V over R. So 10 divided by 5. Pretty sure that would be 2 amps. And I3, again, V over, v over R equals 10 over 10. So 1 amp. 
That's as hard, that's as, hard as it gets. I'm sitting on my keys. So IT equals one plus two plus five, which equals, let's just take you down here a little bit. One plus two plus five. So that would be eight amps. So <clears throat> within that circuit, let's just uh, look at this a bit closer. Within that circuit, we would have eight amps flowing here. Then it splits, I1, five amps would go down here. And the rest of the current would carry on. I2, two amps would uh, go down there. And I3, one amp would go down there. Now, of, of course, if, if these were all the same size like LED lamp, then all the currents would be the same in each arm, sort of. But you'd still solve the circuit the same way. Now, I'm, I'm not going to do this for you, but you can look at it yourself. When we look talked about the power triangle, we can now also completely solve the circuit by figuring out how much power this resistor is dissipating, which is what the right word, how much power is being dissipated or used on R2, and how much power is being used on R3. And that's simple, P equals I times V. So we know I, I1, and we know V is 10. So if we just, I'll just solve this one for you. I1, uh, current of five, five amps, voltage of 10, five times 10. This one, this one would be 50 watts. So you can see quite easily how to solve these circuits. So you'd be able to figure out what size, I'm not going to go into fusing, but what size fuse I would want, what size cable I would be buying so I could wire all these lights up. That tells you everything you need to know. So a very quick one, guys, just on parallel circuits. Uh, and we, uh, what do we see on a boat parallel? We, we can see batteries for sure. Absolutely batteries. Uh, and they, I'm going to cover them another point, connecting batteries up. Uh, batteries, lights, it, uh, uh, yeah, sockets are also, yeah, 12 volt outlets and things, they might be paralleled up, so you get the same voltage on each one. So, yeah, a few things. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you solve a parallel circuit. Just using Ohm's law. Knowing some of the values, but we don't know all of them. And of course, uh, we've seen before, these LEDs, it might say their LED is 2 watts. Oh, I don't know what the resistance is going to be. But you guys can all work that out using that PIV triangle to find out what that would be. So as long as you know two values, we can work out all of the others. So guys, that's, uh, that's parallel circuits. That's a quick example of how parallel circuits work. Voltage is common, current is not, different to series. Series, current is common, because it flows through each one like a train, and voltage is split between the, the loads or the resistors. So very different, very different uh, uh, kind of circuit really, but <clears throat> with what we know, all solvable, just the same. Right, I hope that was some use. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of questions in the, the comments, and I'll give it a few days, and then I'll post the answers up as well. Uh, when you get, so what we've done, Ohm's law, series circuits, parallel circuits, you can solve anything. And remember, just one device is still a circuit, as we spoke about initially. You could have a pump that's, I'm pointing over there, you can't see that. There's a pump over there for my water pressure, and that's going to, that's going to be fed by a cable all the way from the back. So even though it's not a series circuit, I can still work that out the same way. What current does that pump take? What is its resistance? Sort of. With a pump, it's slightly different. But the all pumps will tell you what current they take at the voltage. So you can work it out. 
you can work out the cable, you can work out the fuse sizes, and if you was wiring an array of lights, you could work out the cable sizes and fuse sizes for those as well. This is super important when we're talking about electrics on a boat. In fact, anywhere, this all this stuff comes into play. If you can get this going around your head and it works for you, then fantastic, I've done my job. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope that worked out for you. Give us a like and a subscribe if you want to. Uh, we're going to follow on to lots of other things coming going forwards. I think I'm, I think probably look at galvanic isolation next one. Maybe. I'm trying to get my hands on one. Um, free. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm a galvanic isolator. And we just look at what that is. What, what do we have a galvanic isolator for? Not everybody knows. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hope that was useful. See you next time. Bye.